Hope you're having lots of fun with the new Happy Stitches collection. And I want to um, drop in a little workflow productivity tip that will help you make sure that you keep your illustra illustrator files as lean as possible. So um, one thing that you might notice is that if you have been like, like I've been doing a lot of experimenting on this artboard and I've used like a lot of different stitches, changed my mind from the different collections. So if you go here to your brush panel or you go to Windows Brushes, you're going to see your brush panel and these are actually all of the brushes that are loaded in the document. And now I actually don't need all these and I don't want to get my document too bloated. So one thing you can do is delete the unused ones. And there's a couple ways you can do that. And if you go over to your actions folder, it should be loaded up with default illustrator actions. And there's an actions here that says delete unused panel items. And if I expand this, it's going to show you, it's going to delete your unused symbols, your unused graphic styles, your unused brushes, and your unused swatches. So if I push play, it's going to go through and delete um, everything extra that I had. So now if you look, my, my brush panel has got a lot less brushes than whenever I first showed you. So I'm going to go undo delete swatches, undo, undo delete brushes, undo delete graphic styles undo delete symbols. Okay. So we'll kind of just go back there. Now, one thing you can do, cause it does delete like everything. So if you had like color swatches, um, you know, your color swatches here, like your default ones, uh, it's going to delete those, but you, you can always like reset them. So it's not really normally a big deal because if it's in use, if it's a swatch in use, okay, it's not going to delete it. But if it's an unused one, then it would delete it. But, um, one thing that you can do is you can go over here to your delete unused panel items and you can just go down to brush and double click on brush and that's going to just select the unused ones and then double click on the second brush and then you click yes and that does the same thing but just for the brushes and as we can see here in the brushes now I have my um, shorter brush library and for my document because the one here that's the brushes these are just for the document of course, we also have these brush libraries um, opened here on the side for a reservoir, but that doesn't affect my document size. But here, you know, we want to keep it, you know, clean and lean. So you don't want to have too many brushes, a million brushes in there. Even though I've had great success, I haven't had any problems with these brushes like memory wise or, you know, file size or taking time to render. So it's been great. And I can say that comfortably because my laptop that I'm working on right now is actually quite old. So I'm actually due an upgrade. So you shouldn't worry about that, but it's always good form to kind of keep your brush library as lean and mean as possible. So hopefully you enjoy that tip and just let me know if you have any questions.